Alright guys, welcome back to more Crash Bandicoot Warped. We're gonna be doing Boneyard right now. Boneyard is the first chase level of the game. And basically what you do in this level is you have to oh it looks sad. I understand. Alright, so basically you find out that Tiny is the first boss of this area, but we're not gonna worry about it like that right now. It's the first chase level. Man, as a kid, I used to be so fr so freaked out at this level. Like, hang on, like the Triceratops used to freak me out so much. This is where it comes from. All right, the Triceratops. I used to scare me so much. I used to like start going and crying to my parents. Like my dad used to do this level for me. But one thing you one thing you don't have to worry about in this level is that um you don't you don't have to really worry about boxes that much because the Triceratops will get the boxes for you. Like say that you miss a box, like. That box. The treasure traps will get the boxes for you, which is awesome. And um, one good thing about this game is that even if you kind of oh, hold that box, I want the extra life. There we go. And it's weird because if you walk over here, then it kind of disappears. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. This is also, also the first level that introduces TNTs. TNT crates, if you didn't if you didn't know already, TNT crates are crates that will explode if you do not um, get away from them in three seconds. So you have to jump on a TNT crate and then it'll explode three seconds later. Pedophile, oh god. I, don't, I never understood this level. They have like weird pedophiles like hiding underneath the water trying to like I don't know have anal rape or something. I don't know. You know it used to scare me as a kid. I didn't know what pedophiles were, but it's still kind of scared me. It's almost taking forever. Wow. All right, the second bonus room. Bonus room. Bonus room. Okay. All right, so this level has a bit more boxes than the other, than the other levels. God, I cannot talk to it at all. What the hell? Okay, so jump on this thing. I'm losing my touch at commentating. I used to like actually be decent at commentating, but I'm not good at commentary. Yes. All right, we're so awesome. All right, yeah. So if you, if you don't do that part right, then you're kind of screwed up. You have to redo the whole thing. So you better do that part right. Yeah. Yes. We actually have a ton of lives already. It's kind of crazy. All right. So if I do this quickly, I can have enough room for the last, like the next level. I only have six minutes of recording left. I don't really care about those, um, one for fruit. I don't, I don't mind. Oh, shoot. God. I almost forgot about the box. Now you run. Oh my god. And the grass, if you hit the grass, then it'll slow you down considerably, so you shouldn't hit the grass. Just probably jump over it. Oh, shoot. God. God damn. Alright, we're, 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 oh, god damn it. Yeah, so we're actually pretty good on time right now. But one really, really pissing thing about this level is that- Oh god damn! Yes! Yes! See, the problem with that level is that if you don't, um, if you don't get the gem in time, then you'll fall off, and then you'll miss the gem completely. That's what- that happened to me, like, three times in a row. Back when I was playing this game, like, by myself before. Alright, yes, yeah, so we have to leave now, sorry. 